Captain and Pangella too. And our host, Vincent Van Gogh. And he brings it to ya! Creature features and all creatures. to Creature Features. I'm your host, Vincent. To this side would be my most esteemed butler, the impeccably tasteful Mr. Livingston. And over on this end of the spectrum is my lovely housemate, Tangella, whose grace, kindness, and charm are second only to her proficiency to formulate Simtex explosive material using only common household cleaning products. And we have a simply marvelous program in store just for you. Let us start by discussing our film. Tonight we shall present the very first Three Stooges movie ever to be shown on Creature Features. And that cinematic epic will be Have Rocket Will Travel from 1959. While I'm not entirely familiar with this picture, having not yet screened it, I do know that it was nominated for several Academy Awards and two Golden Globes in that particular year. Hardly. This film features Crowley Joe, who was a good deal worse than Shemp. Well, maybe, but at least he was far more suited for the role than that ghastly bloke, Joe Bessa. If I told you once, I told you a dozen times, don't touch me cleaning supplies. Mr. Livingston, may I have a word with you about the matter? I hardly find it necessary, Mrs. O'Connor. You seem to have resolved the problem quite adequately. <laughs> she seems to have settled in rather nicely to this job. Indeed. And joining us to watch this fabulous trio of slapstick astronauts will be our old friend, Bob Johnson. He's our resident Godzilla and kaiju expert, and he'll give us some insight about tonight's film. He'll also tell us about his upcoming Godzilla Fest in August, which is an event you most definitely will not want to miss. <laughs> so don't go away, for this to be another night of Three Stooges Delight right here on Creature Features. Stay tuned. Bob Johnson, Godzilla expert, did you know that right this moment on Channel 40, they are showing King Kong versus Godzilla? Well, what are we doing here? Now, the question is, what are they doing here? Because we're going to serve them this slop of, of, of a Three Stooges film, and they could be watching mm -hmm. this big, that's a big deal, this King Kong versus yeah, Godzilla. Yeah, it was a big one. That was like one of the most famous Godzilla films, was it not? Yeah. Here I think US. it was one of the biggest money makers until the mega movies they're making today but no i recall being yeah. a young lad and then when this was on bbc2 we would all 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 the lads would stop what they're doing and go watch godzilla versus king kong yeah i remember oh, well. it was on like channel 10 at one point and uh i didn't really get channel 10. right so i got the audio and a lot of snow Oh, wow. And you could, like, look and see shadows right. moving around. I watched the whole movie that way. But you'd seen it before, but, right? Yeah, I knew so what was going on. So you knew what was happening. Yeah. Yeah. Right, clever. Anyways, welcome to the show. It is a Saturday night, and uh, well, that means we've got a guest, and we've got a wonderful movie, and mm -hmm. our wonderful guest is Bob Johnson. You know, I always describe you as a Godzilla expert, but that's probably not quite a proper description, is it not? Well, I mean, I put on the Godzilla shows right. in the San Francisco Bay Area. Bay in area, natural theater, you... 
In, yeah, right. on the big screen. Yes, right. And uh, no, I've been a Godzilla fan, God, since very early. Right. And I'm very old now, so that's a lot of years. So, so. it's safe to call you a Godzilla expert, but you sure. know the other monsters as well. Oh, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So kaiju expert or sure. Japanese, Japanese monster, monster right. fanatic. And you've <laughs> actually met the bloke who was in mm -hmm. the costume, right? There were a few blokes in the costume. And you've met but more yes. than one. Oh, yeah. In fact, we have a show coming up in August, and one of them will be our guest. How wonderful. So, so, you know, a question you might want to ask is, how do they make the Godzilla sound inside that costume? Well, it's not really in the costume. It's, you know, done AR lately. Or after, no, I watched but, the film, and it's, it's a Godzilla it opens his mouth, and right. the sound comes out. Yeah, and they put it in there. Right. But it was originally uh, Akira Ifukube who did the music, had a canvas glove. A canvas glove. And blood. pulled it down a bass string. That's how he that did sound. it? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And so uh, that was like the original. And then later films, they kind of sped it up a little bit, made it higher. I always thought it was uh, like a lion sound, like reversed or something like that. You know, some monsters, I mean, some they... You can kind of tell what the sounds are, and others you can't. But sometimes, right. you know, they'll take a few different roars or sounds and mix them together. Or... So we recently showed Gorgo. Yeah. Do you know how they made his sound? Or did they steal Godzilla's? No, Gorgo's roar was pretty generic. Oh, all right. So, yeah, I don't think they did anything special for it. Right, right. But uh, he'll be crashing our show in August, so we are going to show Gorgo. As it should be seen. Yeah. All right, so uh, we're going to do uh, Have Rocket, Will Travel. I, you know, I have not seen this film. Is there any giant monsters in this one? Uh, there's a giant fire-breathing spider towards Perfect. the end. Perfect. But, no, well, uh, you know, creature features. We've got to show. Yeah. We've got to feature a creature no, it's down okay. there. It's kind of Three Stooges light. Oh, it is? Yeah. All right. I think there's like one eye poke in the movie. Is that a lot all? of slaps, but a lot, just mm. one eye poke. No, so. we've had enough around this I house. think they toned it down a little bit for the film. All right, well, let's go ahead and start this film. When we come back, we're going to talk some more about your Monster Fest. But uh, let's go to Have Rocket, Will Travel, 1959, and uh, we will see you at the break. The race for space has just begun. The race to reach the moon and sun. And we've got half the battle won. Have Rocket, oh, we'll travel. While Uncle Sam is looking hard, there's genius in his own backyard. He says here on our calling card, have rocket, we'll travel. Our rocket ship is one they cast it off, just a dud that never blasted off. That's the reason science passed it to us. You may think that we've gone mad. We know we have, but is that bad? Now let's prepare the launching pad, I say. Have rocket, we'll travel away. Stars beyond number. Time without end. The universe stretches, mysterious, unknown, demanding it be explored. Great institutions, mighty space vehicles, brilliant men and women. Science gathers its strength and stands ready to hurl a metal bird into the cold but inviting space beyond our tiny world. Following in the giant footsteps of the brave voyages of yesterday, Columbus, Magellan, Amundsen, Peary, are today's Pathfinders. Pathfinders to the planets, dedicated to the great adventure of discovery. The building and firing of a machine designed to carry man into space requires an organization of many men and women, many minds, many talents. Some, it may seem at first glance, in lowly but necessary positions. Most of all, however, it requires from everyone work. Hard work. <laughs> Minus ten, nine, eight. Ignition. Waterfall flow. Main Five, stage. Four, three, two, one.
Oh, somebody comes around. Could have hit me in the skull. Mm -hmm. Got a time like this, too. Hey, when I'm asleep. Wait. Somebody? Hey, maybe it's lost. Uh, it's ours, you onion heads. Oh. Well, what's it doing here then? Maybe they sent it over to be cleaned and polished. Yeah, maybe we've been promoted. Hey, here comes somebody. Uh oh, here comes Mr. Trouble. Let's get out of here. Dr. Ingwood's with him. Stick around and see who JB blames for this mess. Come on. Oh, another $10 million. Back to the lab and the drafting board. What went wrong this time? Maybe it's still the human element. I'd expect the psychologist to be sentimental. Nice girl, that. Nice girl. This is no time for scientific argument. As head of this foundation, I am concerned with the building of a spaceship. This is the fourth model we've attempted. And it landed here. Lucky there was only a monkey in it, not a man. It's still our fuel problem, Mr. Morse. Well, we've got to start all over again. Come on, Dr. Narvig. Let's go back and get to work. What about this thing? We'll check it. You. Here's the key. Guard it. You heard JP. Guard it. Now fall in. Hey. The right flank. Hey. March. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. What's that? Mr. Monkey. What? Mr. Monkey? Hey, he's still alive. Yeah. We gotta get him out of there. Yeah, we got Pick some shovels. Pick some shovels. Pick some shovels. Pick some shovels. Look, why don't you have dinner with me tonight? I must get back to my work now. But everyone should have relaxation. You know, Doctor, my job here is to look after you eminent scientists and your emotional problems. Particularly of the first woman scientist ever to work at this foundation. I have no special emotional problems, Doctor. But I have. <laughs> then see a psychologist. Ingrid, please marry me. I promise to let all of our girl children become electronic geniuses like their mother. And that's a concession, ma'am. I'm already married. To all this, to science, to my career. Well, I hope you'll both be very happy. I just thought of something. Do you know who are the happiest and best adjusted people in this institution? I'm not interested. Those maintenance men, Mo, Larry, and Curly Joe. They're not married to any kind of science at all.
Whoop, 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 whoop. It's Creature Feature Three Stooges Night. Not a lot of whoop whoops in the movie, though. You know? I think I, there's, there's one part, I think, where they take Curly's sound oh, and dub it no. into... That's illegal. You don't really see Joe Dorita's face. You see, like, the back of his head, and he's doing something, and they kind of dub it in there, kind of threw it in. My goodness. But, no, that's criminal. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, you know, we were talking over the film about uh, the different third stooge. Stooges, yeah. I mean, so there's Curly. First, Shemp. Shemp. Shemp was with Mo and Larry in vaudeville. Right. With Ted Healy. It was right. like Ted Healy and his stooges. Right. And then it became Curly. And Curly came in when they started doing the shorts. And Shemp left. Yeah. Right. But then Curly had a stroke. Right. And he had to stop. And that's when they brought Shemp back. Right. And then Shemp eventually Well, Shemp left. was making his own movies, too. He was in a lot of movies. I can't name any of them right now, but, yeah, he was in quite a few movies, so he kind of left on his own. Right. And uh, then they brought in uh, Joe Besser. Joe Besser. And I understand yeah. he was not the most welcomed third stooge because yes. he had a contract, I hear, that mm. he could not be hit. Then why be a stooge? Right. No, you cannot be a stooge and not be hit. Especially the third stooge, yeah. who, you know, is the one that gets hit the most. So, And then, uh, okay, so that was Besser. He's not in this film. No, this is uh, Joe Dorita. Joe Dorita. Who, when Besser was there, they just called him Joe. Oh. He wasn't like Curly. They called him Joe. Right. But then when Joe Dorita came in, they called him Curly Joe. In fact, they referred to him as Curly Joe throughout this movie. So as not to confuse us. I, probably, yeah. It's confusing me. <laughs> So was he the last one, or was there another? He was after? the last one. He he made this and a couple other movies, and they did like record albums and you know, like children's songs and stuff. Um, right. And he was on those, and in the I think he was on the uh, Three Stooges cartoon. His voice. His voice. Yeah. Right. So I I wonder if he was the longest running Stooge number three. You know I don't know. Yeah. Because that's be. 1959, right? Right. It started with this film. Until what, 1970 for the cartoon? 69? Probably around that, yeah. I don't think any of the others so. were in for 10 years. No, Curly was we'll in there for quite a while. No, one of our we'll viewers, see. what they will do <laughs> is they will look on Google. Have you tried Google? Yeah, you somebody, find, somebody grab me an iPad. Right, no, you can find <laughs> the information. Then somebody will post in the comments on um, YouTube, and then they'll also send us like a large envelope with the answer. Mm -hmm like written in script so like a five-page letter explaining the whole thing well, what do you say we get back to this film sure talking about stooges right. let's look at some more stooges we uh we're going to do some mail next but when we come back i want mm -hmm. to talk to you about the costumes okay. that were used in the godzilla films sure all right off we go have rocket will travel not me i'm staying here and just watching it but we hope you'll stick with us too see you soon You know that Dr. Nozick, I feel sorry for her. Yeah, and she's in trouble, too. Oh! I'm sorry, Mo. I know, kid. That can happen to anybody. Sure. Oh! Uh, watch what you're doing, you imbecile. Stop talking and get to work. I'm gonna get away from you. And another pick. Oh. Oh. Oh, my hey, Mo, the hatch is uncovered. Oh, boy. Quick, get in. Hey, 
Joe! Uh, get on this with us, will you? You don't listen. All right, all right, all right. Hurry up. Okay, okay. All right, now. Come on. Yeah. Heave. Oh! Heave! Heave! Oh! Heave! 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 Knuckleheads! Through the ship. We'll go up through the ship. First, the monkey. Oh. Ouch! He bit me! There must be a way out then. Yeah, let's go down. Go ahead. Get out of this zoo. How do you get out of here? Must be a door someplace. <laughs> kind of a monkey. If I was in there as long as he was, I'd have known where all the buttons were. Uh, what gets me is, how did he get in the pilot's cabin before we did? How does he open those doors? Mm, nothing to it. I once knew a monkey that could read and write. <laughs> you know, it's easy to work these things.
So that's what they put in the rockets, huh? Sure. Liquid hydrogen, boron, kerosene, beryllium. Oh, no wonder Dr. Ingrid's got a problem. Yeah, she couldn't make up her mind which one to use. Well, are you boys interested in science? <laughs> well, we're just looking, Doctor. We like pictures. That's all right. I respect men who show an interest in the sciences. It's a mark of intelligence. For a lady scientist, she's not only pretty, she's also got brains. Would you boys like to join me in a cup of coffee? A pleasure, Doctor. A real pleasure. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. My goodness, Livingston. Yes. The United States Military Service is recruiting for soldiers. I think I think they'd have quite a, a gem there with, with Tangela if we like volunteered her, right? Ordnance. She could work on explosives and and do things and, and go fight other people's wars. Hey, you should fill this out and join a military unit. Anyways, uh, welcome back to the show. Uh, we will be back soon with Mr. Bob Johnson. But first, we've got some mail to do because you send us mail, and if we don't read it, then we might as well all join the military, right? No. Well, I would. With Tangella, because she would protect me on the battlefield. All right, what do you got, Mr. Livingston? I have an email from Faye Chavez. Faye Chavez. That's a rather nice name. All right, Faye says she's from Ponca City, Oklahoma. Ponca City. Never heard it's of like it. It's like Tonka, but Ponca. All right, uh, let's see. Love the show. I always love shows like these. Way back when I was a kid, there was Seymour, and then Seymour went off, and Elvira came on, and you guys are the next best thing to all those. Listen to that. She says we're the next best thing to Elvira. I, you know, I think that's true. Is that a compliment? Well, it is because she's not working anymore, really. Oh. I don't think she's doing a show anymore. I'm so glad I discovered you. I just discovered you the night before last. I saw a movie that I really loved, Love at First Bite, and discovered you guys. I'm like, awesome. I'm so happy and glad that you guys are here. I will continue to enjoy the show and hopefully try to buy some of your merch. So, thank you very much. I love all the characters there. Extremely cool. You all take care, and I will keep watching and keep in touch. From Ponca City, Oklahoma, Faye Chavez. Well, thank you so much for the kind words, Faye. And uh, Seymour. I don't know if we're better than Seymour. I don't know who Seymour is. No, there's no joke. It goes, um, under, under the grandstand by Seymour Butts. You never cease to amaze me. Another letter, please, sir. Indeed. This is from Catherine Maya. Catherine Maya. I wonder if I could call her Katie. Or Kathy. You have to ask her. It's such her. a versatile name. All right. She goes, uh, just saying, hiya. Hiya, I'm Kate. I just recently started watching you guys on YouTube. I really enjoy it a lot. Miss Changella, I do believe you are so beautiful. And she put hearts and smiley faces. Mr. Livingston, I rather enjoy your sense of humor. I think you're very important to the show because your facial features make you... Mrs. O'Connor, we're trying to tape our program. You're going to be on television with this dusty house. No, I can't have people seeing this as I clean it. Ooh. No, no, we have to clean it. The entire house is dusty. Yes, 
And that's why you hired me, isn't it? Oh, oh. Speak the line, I'm sorry! Oh, dear. I think we might have to get rid of one of those two. I don't know which one. I have an idea. I know your answer. All right, let's see. Uh, Vincent, I rather like the fact that you're so inquisitive and very brilliant. Maybe not in the higher reading department, but I don't know. Uh, I grew up with most of these movies. I realized that I had watched them as a small young girl. I appreciate you and thank you for the laughs. I hope you have a wonderful day and year. Keep up the great work and I look forward to seeing what's next. Love you all. I hope you did not murder that poor woman. You know, she means well. She's just still getting the hang of things. You've got to be nice, you know. She might, you know, end up being on your side at some point. We're going to lose another maid, are we not? Probably. Mm, well, hopefully it'll be later rather than sooner. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you so much, Catherine. And uh, I hope you don't mind me calling you Katie Poo. That's a good name, right? Katie Poo? It's rather intimate. No, it's not. It's like when you add poo to the end of something, it makes it like childlike. Miss like Lisa Tangela Poo. If I called it Tangela Poo or Livingston Poo, that would I be I would bad. take offense. No, I would as well. All right, how about some mail? Lisa Marie. Lisa Marie. Queensland. Do you know how many Lisa Maries there are in the world? There's got to be more to her name. Oh, it's Miss Lisa Marie. You didn't tell me that. Now, this is rather heavy. All right, let me find the notes, and then I'm going to let the young one look at what this is. All right, open it up. It might keep her out of trouble, will it not? All right, Lisa okay, Marie, who has some very nice handwriting, goes, uh, oh, she's in the Gold Coast, Queensland. Queensland. Australia. You didn't tell me that. I did. Uh, all right, she goes, Dear Creature Feature, my name is Lisa Marie, and I would like to thank you for reading my letter. Uh, I'm s oh, so she's written to us before. Oh, and mm -hmm. she sent us more so gifts. Okay, hold on, hold now, on. Let me read more of this. I'm sending some homemade jewelry for her as a gift from me and my son John. I would like an autographed photo. Well, I think we could set you up with one of those after sending us all this. Uh, have you seen these horror movies? Day of the Dead. Yes, and we might be showing that one soon. But you put 2005. We're not going to be showing the 2005 version because we cannot afford the 2005 version. It's rather that expensive. Oh, look at that. That's rather... Hey, look at this. Oh, bloody hell. I'll, I'll wear this one. This looks like something you would wear. No, it does look like something of mine. All right. We're, we're, this, make sure she does not put it all in her pocket. We mm -hmm. have to share. You have to share the booty with me. Right? The loot. The loot, yes. Well, no, the booty is the, what the pirates would call it, right? Pirate's booty? Yes, indeed. Yeah, this man, you know, for being as old-fashioned as he is, he seems a little backwards sometimes. All right, uh, Night of the Living Dead, 2008. No, we can't share that. One, Return of the Living Dead, and two, three, Ghost Ship. All right, so if the movie has a two in the first digit of the year, you can be slightly sure that we cannot show it. But if it's got... 1906, we can definitely show it, right? I don't think they made movies in 1906. Oh, well, they tried. Uh, Nightmare on Elf Street, one and two, three, four, and five. My goodness, you know, you made us some nice jewelry, but these are some huge requests. We'll send you the autograph photo, and hopefully that'll be enough. Thanks for writing, love. That it? That's it. That is it for mail. If you'd like to send us mail of your own, visit hellocreaturefeatures.com. Wonderful place to go because you could learn how to send us an email or how to send us regular postal mail or how to send us a package or how to send us a 2023 Ferrari in a crate right that information is on the website container maybe maybe not anyways we're going to get back to have rocket will travel and when we come back from the break we'll have bob johnson with us see you soon That's a hi-fi set, isn't it, Doctor? No, it's an interspace communicating system. Really? Color television. No, ultrasonics. <laughs> I dabble a bit in science myself, Doctor. You do? Yeah. Uh, cosmic rays, magnetic fields, gravity. 
Oh, as a hobby, you understand. Purely as a hobby. You mustn't deprecate your interests, Mo. Today's hobby is often tomorrow's vocation. So keep working. Keep studying. Who knows? Maybe one of these days you'll be working in this lab, and not just to clean it. That would be a great honor, Doctor. Oh, caffeine and H2O. Ah. Coffee, Jughead. You know, in my country, my father was a janitor. Like us? And he scraped and he saved every penny to put me through school and make a scientist of me. Any of you could be my father. To science and everyone in it. To the unknown dreams of those small, obscure people that become the great achievements of tomorrow. Abuno disse omnis. She talks Latin. You know, I feel as though we are old friends. We talk the same kind of language. E. Uranus Union. What's going on here? They're having coffee with me. Oh. Oh, oh well, the board doesn't approve of this sort of mixing. Uh, scientists with, uh, with people. I know this is your laboratory, Doctor, but rules are rules. Get to work. Now, Doctor, I have some unpleasant news for you and for ourselves as well. Unpleasant? I realize that you are the first woman to ever occupy such an important post in this institution, and that you have a tremendous desire to succeed in your work. What are you trying to say, Mr. Marx? We have completed checking the spaceship, even after that fall over the cliff caused by these idiots. The ship is in perfect working order. The problem remains fuel, and the board of directors have come to a decision. Oh? They're considering closing down this laboratory. She's going to lose her job. They can't do that. I'm afraid they can. Here is the key to the ship. Now, before the next meeting of the board, if you can't come up with a solution to the fuel and the thrust problem, the directors have decided to call a halt to this project. I see. And that includes you. I can say that none of you will be missed. I do not believe there are three more stupid, incompetent, stumble-footed men on this earth. Oh! 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 Imbeciles! Boy, are we in for it now. One of these days. One of these days. Yeah, one of these days. Oh. One of these days, you're gonna put my eyes out. <laughs> Doctor, we're sorry. Real sorry. Don't cry, Ingrid, please. Here, here's a handkerchief. Yeah, blow. <laughs> Doctor, the key. We gotta help her. Yeah. But how? We gotta do something about that fuel business. Yeah, maybe we can. And then she won't lose her job. We can't let him fire somebody who could be our daughter, right? Right. 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 You're right. right. I'm I right. knew you were right. You're right. right. You're, boy, boy. You're so... Everything all right? Right. 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 <laughs> Follow me. More solid propellant. The liquid propellant will melt the solid propellant. Boron, kerosene, liquid hydrogen. They use them separately. We mix them together. Maybe we'll get some thrust. Here, take this. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> hey, Mo, try that. 
sodium bicarbonate. That should give it some fizz. Hey, there's a whole can of it over there. Bring it! the door. Hello, this is Mr. Livingston. It would appear that I have been tasked yet again to deliver another plea intended to separate you from your hard-earned money. This program now has its own channel and associated apps that allow you to watch the entire Creature Features library and much more. 
entitled Creature Features TV. This is a system that works much like Netflix or Hulu. Besides early access to all the new Creature Features episodes, you'll also have access to many other offerings and some archival episodes of the original show with Mr. Bob Wilkins. You'll also have exclusive access to a new Creature Feature show that will be introduced soon and will not be available anywhere else. Your generous but modest monthly subscription fee will also greatly assist in the continued production of the show, so there's that as well. Miss Tangela has asked me to inform you that if you subscribe to Creature Features TV, she will be sure to create more dancing videos just for you. I think not. So please visit www.creaturefeaturestv.com to learn more. Thank you for your time. You know, Bob Johnson, Godzilla expert, I could never go to the moon because the helmet would not fit on my head. Well, and the lack of gravity, too. That's right. Oh, you think that would help? Maybe. I wouldn't have to fix my hair all the time. So, uh, tell me something about this film. Well, uh, I think they're wearing the spacesuits now. The spacesuits were actually used in an episode of Twilight Zone. The spacesuits the yeah. Stooges are Twilight wearing. Yeah. All these blokes were yeah. short, were they not? They were pretty short, yeah. Right. I mean, like tiny, tiny almost. Yeah. They might have been cuffed. I don't know. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> right. You know, they hem. The, the studios have a full Stuffed wardrobe in a boot or something, department yeah. and seems. And I'm sure Rod Serling, I doubt if he had the budget to make spacesuits. So they could have come from a movie before that, and it's just escaping me. So, but. right. Now, you know, they remind me a bit of the ones from uh, Destination Moon. Yeah, that could be. The classic 50s. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, so. speaking of outfits, let's talk about Godzilla. So, mm -hmm. until you told me 2000 something. 2004. 2004. Godzilla was always a bloke in a suit. Yeah. Right? And, you know, there's a lot of animation going on. The mm -hmm. mouth opens, the eyes move, sometimes right. the nostrils would like well, open the, and close. The crazy thing about those suits, even like Godzilla, is, you know, yes, the, the eye, if the eyes moved, some right. of them did, some didn't. Mouth opens and closed. That's all done off stage with, like, pneumatics. Oh. But the tail doesn't just drag along the ground. They have people, like, up in the rafters with wires. Oh, is that how the they tail. did it? Yeah. No, because he would use his tail to, like, yeah. knock down buildings. So if you look at something like King Ghidorah. What's that? The three-headed monster. Right. Three heads, two tails, right. two wings. It's like a dragon with three heads. It had like a dozen people up there in the rafters with wires. Oh, my goodness. That's right, because all the heads were moving yeah. independently. Right. Some kind of knocking But there was still other, a bloke in the costume, right? Yeah, but he was basically the legs. And right. if you notice, there's kind of like a, a large chest because he had his arms ah, in like this. That's why. So, But everything else was wires, wire work. Right. It's like so. a big marionette. Yeah. How fun. And then in 2004, they switched to CGI. No, 2004 was still, still? suits. So when they switched to CGI? Well, that was pretty much when they uh, started making the films over here. Godzilla 2014, oh. King of the Monsters. So Japan does not make them anymore. Well, they made Shin Godzilla in 2016, and that was mostly CGI. Right. And then they're working on one now, which they say will be out by the end of the year. We'll see. They're working on it now. And so, that will be full CGI. Yeah. I think the man in the suit days are pretty much over. You know, and I think but. the big problem with the man in the suit is not so much the suit and the man. Mm -hmm. You have to build all of those tiny city yeah. scape things. Well, that's a that's, whole art over right. there. I mean, just to make those things. And 
you know, you, people think, oh, it's just a bunch of cardboard houses. But no, no they're buildings. They've got floors inside. And right, and things some fall out. Where they put and, furniture and things right, in there. And then, right. yeah, when they, you know, basically crush the building, then you see all the floors and all the innards come out. What I'd like to know is where they find those tiny little people running the streets that get crushed by those walls. <laughs> they're all rented. Rented? Uh, yeah. Oh. But, but uh, that, I was worried that they were damaged, so that tells yeah. me that they get returned proper. No. Right. But we did have a couple of our Godzilla Fests. We had uh, TJ Storm as a guest. Who's that? Uh, he was the CG actor for the legendary movies. Oh, this he is when the they put with the like dots. The green suit with yes. the ping pong balls. Yes. And he does all the right. movements. I think motion, like, motion tracking. Yeah, they put movement. dots all over his face, so when he's making right. expressions... Those it expressions are reflected in Godzilla. Like Planet of the Apes. Yeah. All right. I'm going to signal so. we got to return to the film. But when we come back, I want to talk to you about this podcast you do. Okay. All right. Sure. All right. So off we go. Have Rocket Will Travel 1959. Don't go away because uh, I don't. You could go away if you want. I don't. It's, it's not the best film, but Tanjel will be here later. That's a good reason to stay. See you soon. I could take you to your planets and your stars. Oh, don't talk like that, please. You're a woman of science. Why should you object when love uses the language of science? But I'm not interested in love. Well, experiment, research. When two bodies meet in space, they attract each other. Let me go, please. Do they think of jobs, of projects, of theories? No, they collide. That's like being in another universe, isn't it? hour of the night and what's all that noise going on and those lights oh, cleaning up uh, your scientists uh, left uh, an awful mess if that lab isn't shut and quiet in 10 minutes I'll come down there and make a mess out of you we only got 10 minutes of Larry 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 where are you here Larry! Grab my hand, I'll pull you out. I'm all right, Mo. Ow! 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 All right. Don't give up hope. Don't give up hope. I'll be right back. That ought to slide him out. Take the 
leaks. The pipe's busted. What? It's pouring all over the cellar. Okay, come on, Larry. Just run!
We're going to get fired. We won't be able to help anybody. Shut up and let me think. Contact them. I still can't. Well, keep trying. I'll bet they don't even know there's a communication system aboard. No change in their course, huh? None. They can't control it. The ship's on an automatic course to the planet Venus. Hey, I'm watching your show. Put me on. Hello, this is Livingston. Apparently, one of my newly acquired domestic duties is to request help for our show financially by asking you to visit our patron page. Your generosity will help keep Creature Features on the air, which I'm not entirely sure is a good thing. However, with only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new programming each week, which apparently some of you curiously enjoy. And should you have the desire to give even more, you might even receive a gift from Ms. Tangella. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. Shouldn't they be putting ashes in this instead of change? You think. I have an urge for a proper urn. Welcome back to the show. We are watching Have Rocket Will Travel with the wonderful Bob Johnson, who knows everything about Godzilla and then some. Um, have Rocket Will Travel. How did they come up with a title like this? It makes no sense to me. Uh, they probably went back to the old Western, Have Gun Will Travel. There was a show with, called Have Gun, Will Travel. With Richard Boone. Richard Boone, is he the, the, the crooner? No, um, Richard Boone was an actor. He, he was in a TV movie back in the 70s right. called uh, The Last Dinosaur with Joan the Van Ark, I believe. That sounds like something we should yeah. show. How you look into it. The Last yeah. Dinosaur, Super Richard Eye Productions Boone. that made Ultraman right. and Hanna-Barbera right. combined to make a couple TV movies. Three, actually, but... One was The Last Dinosaur. One was uh, The Bermuda Depths, hmm. which at the very end has a big turtle that comes out of the ocean and eats the helicopter that Burl Ives is in. Oh, this is something that's perfect yeah. for our program. And then the third was The Ivory Ape, which is really hard to find. All right. And ivory uh, Ape. The Ivory Ape. I bet Tom can find it. So anyway, so you do a thing called Planet Ape Podcast. Yes. Now what, I mean... 
do you have to go all the way to Planet Eight to do your podcast, or you just? Uh, well, we usually uh, record it on Planet Eight, but oh, all um, right. There's myself, Larry Kakos, and right. Karen Walker. Right. And uh, we do this podcast, which we just recorded our 121st episode. What's the URL to find it? Well, you can go to uh, planet8podcast.com. Planet8podcast.com, and you'll find it. Or you can go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, anywhere you can find podcasts and just, just search put for Planet it. 8. Planet 8 Podcast. Right, right. Nice. Uh, we also, a couple episodes ago, started full video episodes. So prior, it was YouTube. just audio. Yeah. Right. We would have YouTube episodes, but we'd you know, put a graphic over it. And of course. Just, yeah. right. So now we're actually on there talking and moving. And oh, how fun. Doing yeah. things, it's so. nice to see the face in front of the voice, right? Sometimes, yeah. Right. What's that for me? <laughs> depends on the voice. I should be doing a face. pure audio program. Yeah. yeah. People get scared of my face. <laughs> say, I, I came to watch a film on your show, and I saw this bloke's face, mm -hmm. and they're like, WTF, and I, I don't even know what that means, but... <laughs> I'm sure it's not good. So what kind of things do you discuss on Planet 8 podcast? God, we do just about anything we can think of. We've done everything from uh, comics to movies to TV shows, usually in the sci-fi monster realm, although we did do a James Bond movie uh, episode. James Bond goes sci-fi sometimes. What was that, uh, Moonraker? Moonraker, yeah. Right? That's true. Yeah, and they're, yeah, they're yeah. always like fighting like super mm -hmm. villains that have all this technology. Yeah. So. Richard Keel, right. Jaws. right. But yeah, no, recently, I mean, we've done, recently we did one on William Shatner, we did one on uh, all four Invasion of the Body Snatcher movies. Oh, wow. And, uh, and we, <laughs> we thought, well, let's do it on all three of the movies, and then we found, oh, no, there was four. Well, you know, right. I think you have to do one on Have Rocket Will Travel, right? Possibly. Why not? Or just do a Stooges episode. That's right. Do a full Stooges. Yeah, all right, well, let's say we get back to this film. Yeah. And then uh, when we come back, we're going to discuss uh, your show coming up, okay. Godzilla Fest, all that. Mm -hmm. All right, off we go. Have Rocket Will travel. Don't go away, because if you do, it would be a terrible thing. It would make me quite sad. Bye. Look, a watermelon. Jughead. What is it? How would I know? Hand me that book. Maybe it's got some information in it. Hey, what about this now? I don't know. Try the other wheel there. Anything happening? Try the other one. Give me the book. I just gave it to you. What do you mean you just gave it to me? Hey, look, it's floating. You dimwit, can't you remember there's no gravity in space? Not the one, get it. He's a... Try, the, try this again here. about them they're lost think about us about you and me no no don't stop thinking about us we have our own world here let's enjoy it 
How do you like that? We're lost in space and they're making love down there. I think it's nice. Yeah! Hey, the television went dead. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Larry, see what it... Hey, what are you doing up there? I swallowed this. What? I swallowed a tube. Oh! Oh! What? What did he swallow? He swallowed a tube. And without it, we can't contact Earth. Get him down here. Wait a minute. Put on those magnetized boots. Do you want both of you to be up on the ceiling? Easy, easy. You want to give him a concussion? You feel all right, Larry? I think I got a little gas. Oh. Get the medical kit. Yeah, the medical kit. Medical, medical kit. kit? What are you going to do? Calm yourself. We have to operate. We're going to get that tube out. Well, no, you don't. Anesthetic. Anesthetic. No, you Anesthetic. don't. Anesthetic. Nobody lays a hand on me. I never laid a hand on him. Get the stethoscope. Oh, stethoscope, yeah. Come, 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 come. Stethoscope. Stethoscope. There you are. One stethoscope coming out. Well, come on, quit clowning. This is serious. Hey, I can hear it. The tube is still working. Shh. Please, please, somebody will come in. I don't care. I love you, love you. I guess they'll never stop making love down there. Get me the scalpel. Scalpel. Oh. Never mind the stethoscope. Give me the scalpel. Scalpel, scalpel, scalpel. I'll get the whole medical kit. Scalpel. One scalpel coming out. Jughead, can't you remember about the gravity? Oh, you... The patient. Oh, the patient. Can I trust you to do anything around here? Get the crema partiola. Yeah, crema partiola. A grandma partiola. It's in the medical kit. Oh. It did it when I wasn't looking. I'll murder you. I'll throw you off the ship. You got space madness. I'll throw you to the asteroid. It's me, Curly. I'll make a satellite out of you. Oh, come oh. 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 We're landing. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. Yes, I love you too. But I've got to contact the boys. Hey, the tube. It, it's still working. the world. Act like human beings. We're going to explore. Here, lock the ship. Wait a minute. I'd better do it myself. Maybe it was by accident. But think of it, fellas. The first space travelers. Us three. There must be a civilization of great achievements. Intelligent life must be waiting for us here.
Hey, Mo, your outside head is broken. The air, it's all right. You can breathe this air. So you breathe it. I want to go back to Earth. Yeah, me too. Wait a minute. We got to explore this planet. And get ourselves barbecued? Don't you want to go down in history? No. no. Don't you want to astound the world? No. no. Don't you want to become celebrated and famous? No. no. Don't you want to help Dr. Ingrid? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, then we got to prove that we reached this planet and bring back the proof. That's the only way we can help Dr. Ingrid. The things a man has to do for a woman. All right, get rid of the helmets. We don't need them. All right, we're going that way. Go ahead. Life here, that much we know. Yeah, I can still feel it. But the higher forms of it, the most intelligent life, that's what we gotta look for. <laughs> What's that? Somebody's crying. <laughs> it's around there. Come on. I am not a horse. I am a unicorn. And my horn is stuck in the rocks. Oh, please, please, someone help me. Intelligent life. Help him. Easy, easy. All together now. Pull. I was trying to eat some of the rock flowers when I got caught. Many, many thanks to thee. Thou hast my gratitude. Hey, this horse talks funny. Please, I am a unicorn. Horses are slaves. Amazing. Absolutely astounding. I must make a note of this. My name is Mo. I'm Larry. And I'm Curly Joe. I am pleased to meet thee. And, and we, we are, are pleased, pleased to meet thee. Ain't he quaint? Ain't, the word is isn't. Isn't he quizzent? Thy language is most odd, and thou hast a strange look. We are a man from another earth. We have just arrived upon your planet. Welcome to Venus, my friends. Take us to your leader. Alack, I am the last of my line. Is there a higher form of life on this planet? Aye, thou hast done me a kindness, so I will do one for thee. Their city lies across the Lake of the Flowers. Come, I shall lead thee there. Hey, Uni, wait for us. Got this far to think our rocket shot this far. It's Venus, boys, and here we are. Admit it. We did it. To top it off, when we descend, we meet our two eyed, one horned friend. And ain't he just a living end? He's purple. He's people. 
remember, man, we're on another earth, far away from good old Mother Earth. If he's not our friend and brother, we're dead. Suppose these people rise in storm. Suppose they're not a higher form. Well, boys, let's keep the engines warm in case. Have rocket, we'll travel in space. And now, dear friends, it is time to say farewell. What? The land thou seek is just beyond this hill. Aren't you coming with us? Alas, I cannot. I would be enslaved there. Gee, Uni, I'm going to miss you. I will be waiting here for thy return. Goodbye, Goodbye Uni. For a little while. Well, onward and upward. Go ahead. Bye, Uni. Bye. At last, we'll meet the highest form of life on this planet. I'll bet there'll be nice people like the unicorn. What's that? Look. Nobody in it. You are expected. Enter. A talking automobile. It's the higher form of life. Do not delay. I am waiting. I am Larry. I am Mo. And I am Curly Joe. Take us to your leader. Boy, this thing can travel. Hey, car. Speak respectfully. Hey, automobile, where's everybody? There is nobody. No people? There is only electrical energy and myself. Well, who are you? Sir, we are men from another planet. And Why do you prattle? Energy is not to be wasted. Look upon my city. This is what my energy did. And here is more of what my energy can do. Treat the first space travelers. Yeah, who does he think he is? That is who I am. That's civilized. <clears throat> Sir? Wherever you are, <clears throat> greetings from your sister planet, Earth. I have no sister. I have no one. You mean you're all alone? I am the only one of my kind. Look upon me. Look! I'm getting out of here. Me too. Me three. No doors! There are doors. Hey, fellas, this way! Enter. Not me! No! He's got me! Oh, oh, he's got me! Oh, oh. I think we picked the wrong planet. Now look here, my good... My good... Whatever you are. 
You should treat us with more respect. Yeah, we got great accomplishments to our credit, too. That's right. We're not little men. I shall I prove, prove that you are little men. <laughs> This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Stay tuned. Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Yeah, you're supposed to be at this event right now. I was earlier. 
well, broke away and came over here. No, it's yeah. nice that you can like fly over yeah. here, like Ultraman who flies. That's right. And uh, so the Ultra Fest, it's going yes. on this weekend, and there's one and more day left. It's at the Four Star Theater. The Four Star Theater, where's yeah. that? It's in San Francisco on Clement Street. Oh, nice. Uh, recently reopened and remodeled, so it's really cool. We used to put be a, a big one here yeah. where you can actually see. But an Ultra Fest. Yeah. Yeah, we did an Ultraman show back in 2005 at the Castro Theater. Right. We haven't done one since. We've been doing all these Godzilla Fests. Right. And then when they reopened the Four Star, it's kind of on Clement, close to uh, you know, a Chinese neighborhood. So right. the owner was like, you know, we, let's do Ultraman. Ultraman would be huge there. Right. I'm like, all right, well, we'll try it. Took me close to a year to negotiate to do it. Oh, my goodness. With Subaraya Productions in right. Japan. This, we wanted to do this like back in the fall, but it just kept getting pushed out. And now right. we've got two shows like back to back. And, uh, but this one, uh, a lot of fun, a lot of Ultraman uh, movies. And we have Dory Krauss, who was uh, Jack Shindo in Ultraman Towards the Future. Nice. He was like the one who would turn into Ultraman. Right. Uh, last night, we showed uh, a compilation of Ultraman episodes from the 66 show. They were all remastered in 4K. Oh, nice. And the 60s colors and all that just pop right off the it's screen. The, the so. film stock they used was incredible. I think they yeah. used uh, Fuji film. Oh, there you go. Right. And then you got this right. other one coming up. Yeah, this one. I Godzilla. mean, you can still catch Ultra Fest tomorrow if you run out to the four star, but Godzilla Fest is in August. Godzilla Fest in yeah. August. Got to go. Put a big one up. There you go. Big, big, big. Pop it up. And our guest for that one is one of the Godzilla suit actors, Tsutomu Kitagawa, who was Godzilla in the 2000s. So he's, oh, he was. He's, not he's cool. fairly young. Right. Yeah. Very energetic. Great guest. Nice. We had him in 2004 when we did our first Godzilla Fest. This looks like so much uh, fun. And this is yeah. uh, August uh, 18th to the 20th at the Balboa, yeah, the Balboa Theater, Theater in San yeah. Francisco. And uh, special guest on that one, like I say, is Tsutomu Kitagawa. And uh, we're also having a special showing of Gorgo on Saturday night. And, Gorgo uh, on the big screen. Titanic Productions made a really cool Gorgo figure. And they're giving us a couple of those to give away. As like dual prizes. As prizes at nice. the screening. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Good. All right. August 18th to 20th. Or tomorrow, go check out the last day of UltraFest. Yep. Yeah. Right? Good. All right. Be a lot of fun. I got to run back there after we're done. What do you say we wrap up this film so you can do that? You got it. All right. Let's go to the end of Have Rocket Will Travel. My usual warning, when the credits roll, don't go away. The show's not over. Tangela will be here. And uh, if you're not, then she's going to be sad. I've, I've seen her cry before. Oh, really? It was because she almost cut her own leg off. But it was it's still a tear, <laughs> one solitary tear. All right. Off we go. End of Have Rocket Will Travel. See you on the other side of the credits. Again. 
I don't think he's going to help us. My dear companions, they are yours to play with. When you are finished, convert them into energy. Meanwhile, I shall rest. How do we get out of here? Push buttons. Look! Follow me. After that. Go ahead. Funny feeling. What kind of a funny feeling? Like something's gonna happen. Yeah? You fools! What are you what doing? doing? Not, not that switch, not that one! one. <laughs> Look, we're back where we started from. Let's get back to our ship. You, you let, let them get, get away! away. They're out of our range. Give me one. Hey, Uni, Uni, it's us. Oh, 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 oh. Didst thou find the highest form of life? Yeah, that's why we want to go home. Come on, Uni. Abracadabra! Wait a minute. 
The key is in the lock. Gentlemen, our guests of honor. <laughs> Tell us about the planet Venus. Gentlemen, gentlemen. You can hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Good evening, everybody. Well, it's not unlike your planet Earth, and the flowers on Venus are more tasty. down in history. The reason we did it was to help you, Ingrid. Thank you. Thank you. May I dance with my wife? Surely. It was nothing, mademoiselle. All it took was genius, determination, and raw courage. Ah, oh, Monsieur Larry, it was a magnifique, magnifique. Quel courage! Un hero, n'est-ce pas? Oh, oui, mademoiselle. He is a very great man. Uh, may I cut in? Thank you. <laughs> Why didn't I learn French instead of Latin? Oh, a Latin. And we had a monster 300 feet high. Uh, Still in fire. Me. Uh, Imagine. Excuse me.
have made a decision. Is it a secret? We're going to name our children after you. We're going to have three of them, so that each one can have a famous godfather. Oh, wonderful. Mo, suppose they're girls. What's in the name? Mo, Larry, Curly Joe. Mo! such a famous man, a man the whole world admires. It was not my mother, not her. Uh, professor, dear famous professor, would you autograph this for me? Yeah, sure, uh, absolutely. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, oh that's wonderful. Oh, anything, <laughs> anything for science and a lovely lady. Oh. I do wish I could do something for you, Professor. Well, you could honor me with the dance. Oh, you're such a celebrated person. Cut it out, you lame brain. She's doing it to me. Oh! Next time I'll do it to your head.
people. Oh, Juni, we'd rather be with you. Take us to your leader. Here we go again, boys. Come on, Come Juni. On, Come on. To outer space, we even helped the human race, and now we tell you face to face, my friend. We've done it, you've had it, the end. Pies in the face for Mo. You know, I think we should end every episode of our show with a pie in your face. Not my face. No, a pie belongs on my face, but if it went in your face, that would be funny. No? She's, you know, she's good with slapstick, but only when she's slapping somebody else's stick. That's right. Not her own. Anyways, uh, that's that for uh, Have Rocket Will Travel. Not a bad film, not a good film, it's just a film, right? Three Stooges Light. Three Stooges Light, Man. you know. If you'd like to see more Three Stooges, I... Turn on any channel in the afternoon, mm -hmm. right? And you'll find Three Stooges somewhere. You know, I bet you Three Stooges is playing somewhere, everywhere yeah. at one time or another. There's that one channel on like right. Saturday night that you know, they play like four hours of Stooges or something leading into stuff. But yeah, yeah. right. It yeah. goes on. It I sounds, like the Stooges, but not no, four or five hours. No, same. But, I, yeah. I think that would be hideous, yeah. but that's just me. Anyways, uh, so what's next for right. Bob Johnson? Well... Podcast continues. Right. Get done with Ultra Fest this weekend. Godzilla Fest next month. And then what? Then I get to rest for a bit. You know, I do think you need to, you, you, you put a lot of work into these things. Mm -hmm. No, it, yeah. it, takes, it takes some finagling to pull off mm -hmm. what you do. No, oh, definitely. Right, right. And then a podcast with multiple people talking. I don't know if I could do it. No, these podcasts, these people are talking. I, I cannot even keep up. With these podcasts most of the time because well we do it twice a month it comes out on the 8th and the 22nd and we have to keep coming up with subjects right and but then now watching it is the challenge that i speak well, of because no no no, you've got four heads talking the same time i don't mm -hmm. know which one to look at no the, the hard part though is like if someone says let's do one on the x-files right. well there's like nine seasons of the x-files oh. and how many episodes and all right yeah. Uh, yeah, Larry yeah. from the podcast just bought Dark Shadows. I'm hoping he doesn't ask us to do that. That's an interesting because that was yeah, like that was like every day for right. how no, many people years? People ask us to show like, Dark Shadows. Yeah, how, how it was close to a thousand episodes of Dark Shadows. But you know the Johnny Depp film. Well, you should that do the too, Johnny Depp film. I love that film. It's good. <laughs> His house looked like mine. Mm -hmm. All right, Bob. Well, thank you so much for coming on the program and being our guide on uh, Have Rocket Will Travel. And um, it's a blast. Uh, hope your Godzilla and Ultra Man mm -hmm. festivals go well. Huh? Everybody go to bed early and come out tomorrow. Right. No, <laughs> if you're not busy tomorrow, it's Sunday. Yeah. You know, maybe they got the day off. All right. Well, next time you're in okay. town, come see us, eh? Sounds good. All right. And as far as you guys are concerned, thank you so much for watching our show. We know you could have been watching that Godzilla movie on Channel 40, but instead you stayed with us, stuck with her, and that makes you all dear and best friends. See you next week. So, uh, Bob, you know, I'm not doing anything else tonight. What do you think if I follow you and tag along for this rest of this Ultraman evening? Uh, maybe next time. <laughs>